On today's Ashes to Fire devotional, we are at the passage of Scripture in Luke's Gospel, chapter 8 at the beginning, where Jesus tells a particular parable. It's the parable of the sower. He gives this illustration that a sower goes out to sow, and some of the seed falls on the pathway, and some of it falls on rocky ground, and some of it falls on thorny ground, and some of it falls on good soil. But evidently what Jesus was saying was so important, it's one of the few parables that he immediately gives an interpretation of the parable. He talks about the sower being God. He talks about the seed being the gospel, the word of God. And he talks about these are the ways that the hearts of people receive it. Some are the pathway. In Jesus' day, a pathway, as people would be walking, they would beat that dirt down so much, and with the hot sun, it would become as hard as concrete. And so the seed that falls there as the sower begins to broadcast the seed, just throw it by the handfuls in all direction, knowing that some will take, take root. But that which is on the uh, pathway doesn't ever last long enough to take root. The birds come by and they feed on it. And then there's some of it lands on what is called rocky soil. The rocky soil is such that the, the seed can't take root and so it really doesn't make it. And then he talks about the fact that some is sown on thorny ground, which talks about the thorns and the weeds just choke the life out of the seed and it really never fully develops. And then he talks about there's good soil that receives the seed and produces 60, 100, many times beyond what was sown upon it. Jesus makes the application just as soil does that, so do our hearts. Some people's hearts are so hard they've been beaten down by the trials of the things of life that the seed can't take root. And there are some who have allowed their lives to become hard and rocky and they too have a hard time allowing the gospel to take root in their life. And there are some who through the riches and troubles of life all of those cares come and they choke off the spiritual life. But there's some that is good soil. So Christ is saying the word of God is sown into your life, but what kind of a soil, what kind of a readiness is in your heart to receive the gospel? My prayer for all of us today is that we won't be pathway people or stony people or even thorny people, but that we'll allow the Holy Spirit to prepare in us a wonderful harvest for the word of God where it can take deep root in our lives and make an eternal difference. God bless you and continue with us as we make our journey to Pentecost Sunday.